Hello, I'm Paul McKeever, leader of the Freedom Party of Ontario. In 1969, Ontario's progressive conservative government banned private health insurance. It instituted a tax-funded government monopoly called Medicare. Medicare has been in crisis ever since. Liberal and progressive conservative governments tell us year after year that the taxpayer has to pay more to keep the system afloat. It already consumes over 65% of all Ontario tax revenues. Yet every day, we hear stories that Ontario's sick and injured are suffering and even dying as they wait in growing queues for dwindling health care rations. To find out why, let's listen to the father of Ontario's Medicare system, Reverend Tommy Douglas. I am concerned, as many people are, about Medicare, not with its fundamental principles, but with the problems which we knew would arise. The access challenge that we're all, uh, that we're all experiencing. Access is not being provided in a sufficient way or in a timely way. And those of us who talked about Medicare back in the 1940s and 50s and 60s kept reminding the public that there were two phases for Medicare. The first was to remove the financial barrier between those who provide health services and those who need them. We pointed out repeatedly that that phase was the easiest of the problems we would confront. That phase number two would be the much more difficult one. That was to alter our delivery system so as to reduce costs and so as to place the emphasis on preventive medicine. We must now move increasingly toward group practice. We have funded 200 new family health teams since 2003. They're assuming responsibility to uh, uh, promote better health and to help you uh, prevent illness uh, in the first place. But the need for group practice so as to make possible the practice of preventive medicine. The preventative focus is one of the things that is at the heart of our government's agenda. We've tried to remove uh, junk food from our vending machines in our elementary schools. We have made uh, physical activity mandatory during every learning day in our elementary schools. Now we want to um, eliminate the sale of foods that contain trans fats. We said that we were going to fund through our public health care system, Medicare, three new vaccinations. Preventive medicine. Only in that way are we going to be able to keep the costs from becoming so excessive that uh, the public will decide that Medicare is not in the best interests of the people of this country. The father of Medicare knew that Medicare could only afford to focus on the prevention of illness and injury. He knew that a tax-funded government health monopoly focusing on making the sick and injured well was not economically feasible. Such a system, he knew, would lead to excessive costs and to the public's rejection of Medicare. Ontario's Medicare system was designed to focus on maintaining the health of those who are already healthy. It was not designed to focus on making the sick and injured well. As a result, it leaves many of Ontario's sick and injured suffering, even dying, while they wait in growing lines for dwindling health care rations. Ontario once had a health care system that made the sick and injured top priority. In 1969, the Progressive Conservatives banned that system and imposed Medicare. By design, Medicare prioritizes the healthy. The preventative focus is one of the things that is at the heart of our government's agenda. Increasingly, Medicare leaves the sick and injured to suffer and die. A freedom government will legalize health care options that make the sick and injured top priority again.